Hi, my name is Kevin Roos, and in this mini-workshop, I'll be demonstrating the new features of Catalyst CS 5.5. This workshop is designed for two different types of designers or developers. First, it's designed for experienced users of Catalyst CS 5 who would like to learn about the new features in 5.5. This workshop is also for designers or developers who felt that Catalyst CS 5 lacked the features they needed for it to work for them as part of a functional workflow between the designer and developer. In this workshop, we'll look at both design and developer features that have been added to Catalyst CS 5.5. In the design area, we'll look at resizable applications and constraint-based layout, including a look at the code that these feature enhancements generate. Another new design feature is the Align Panel. Familiar to most Adobe product users, the Align Panel helps create pixel-perfect layouts and ensures that they remain that way after importing into Flash Builder. The last design feature we'll look at is Manage Layout, which takes full advantage of the Flash Builder 4 layout property. On the interaction design front, we'll look at the new global interactions that make it quick and easy to apply an interaction on one component that controls a completely different component. On the developer side of Catalyst, we'll look at perhaps one of the most significant new features, and that's the ability to round trip projects. You'll work on a project in Catalyst that originated from a Photoshop design, open that project in Flash Builder, add some program logic in the form of search functionality, and then round trip the code back into Catalyst, and later reopen it for more work in Flash Builder. You'll even see a Flash Professional Swift communicate via an animation to that search form, all while seamlessly moving the project from application to application. At the same time, your packages, class files, skins, animations, and interactions remain intact. If you worked in Catalyst before, I think you'll like the new features. And if you've been reluctant to give Catalyst a try, I hope you enjoy exploring how it can help your application development progress by way of wireframes and prototypes that are capable of creating a reusable code base.